Hey everyone, Shannon here, and today I will be teaching you how to create a round trip workflow between Premiere and Adobe Audition. Now, you need both of these programs to do this. You need Adobe Premiere and Adobe Audition. Uh, Adobe After Effects also does this, where it creates a dynamic link to work between two programs. And this is what I love about the Adobe Creative Suite, is that you do not need to render any files and then kind of lose your quality after because these programs all work simultaneously hand in hand go back and forth and it increases your workflow it increases your productivity and it just creates a very high quality work environment and you create high quality uh, product after that so what I mean by this is a lot of the time you will be editing in Premiere uh, this is just an example I have here from uh, my short documentary, Becoming Vegan, Alyssa's Story, it can be found on my YouTube channel. And there's some audio in this that I would like to edit. So I'll just play that for you really quick. In a more positive way and not showing such disturbing images. And you cannot edit audio in Premiere. Really, all you can do is check your levels, um, see how the levels show up here. Uh, you know, you can just change your master levels or the levels of your audio track in Premiere. You can't really reduce the noise or add any effects or anything like that. So how do we edit audio simultaneously between Premiere and Adobe Audition? Well, we can go right here to Adobe Audition and we can have that opened up. See, I work on dual monitors here, which is really easy for my workflow because I am a media producer. Um, if you just have one monitor, this still also works, but you're just going to have to toggle between the two programs. Now, in order to get this audio file into Audition, I will just need to right click and we will go up and right here, it says edit clip in Adobe Audition so so simple and see you can even hit replace with after effects composition this all creates a dynamic link between the programs so we're going to click that and look at that it brought my audio clip right into audition now if you click that and you didn't have audition open and it would open audition for you uh, so we have my audio clip right here and if i go to this program i think educating people in a more positive my audio clip is right there. That's awesome. That is so cool because I don't have to go back and forth, try to render this clip, bring it back in Premiere. This is why I love the Adobe Creative Suite so much. Uh, now we can go ahead and edit this clip. We can reduce the noise. Uh, you can add effects to it. Just really quick to show you, I'm just going to add an effect to this uh, just to prove a point here. Um, we will add some delay. I think, I think and of course I wouldn't be doing this. This is just for the purposes of this tutorial. Now, your changes will not happen right away. In a more positive way and not show when I'm back in Premiere, it's still kind of the original audio. Show so in order to create a dynamic link between the two programs and to get my changes into Premiere, I need to save in Adobe Audition. So I'm just going to hit Control S or Command S on a Mac. That saved my changes for whatever I did to my audio. When I toggle back to Adobe Premiere, it brought my changes right into Premiere. It was that quick, it was that easy, and this is so amazing uh, for your productivity. And that it, it's really simple. That is how you use Adobe Audition and Adobe Premiere together. You can use Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects together. Uh, all of these programs are awesome. You can use Adobe Photoshop and After Effects together. Um, so the suite kind of works, works hand in hand. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a comment in the description or give me a thumbs up. Uh, check out my website, www.shannonrgedvils.com for more tutorials and videos that I make. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot, guys.